State Sanatorium. With over 20 buildings, 200 acres, and 100,000 square feet, filled with a history of cruelty, mistreatment, death, and murder, this location is nearly untouched, still holding all items of its dark past. Medical devices and records, personal items of deceased patients, and of course, the unknown amount of spirits or entities that may reside here. Tonight truly is an opportunity to discover the unknown. Whether it is the stories held within these walls, or the terror that awaits us. Oh, that's so f***ing cool! We estimate 5,000 deaths here. There are people who took their own lives. There's people who killed other patients. I wouldn't stand here for a million dollars for five minutes. Why? What chair, what rope? Where are we doing this? Let's go right now. Oh my god. He is very intimidating. He will follow you around in here. I've never had something like that strong, bro. Oh my god, what is that? So these are actually the contest winners. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 What's up, buddy? Look at those tiny little legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at your train. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. No. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Good. They listen to me. What's up everyone and welcome to or welcome back to the Overnight Channel where we are dedicated to all things paranormal, unsolved, unknown, mysterious. It's gonna scare you in the middle of the night but we're here to have a good time and we're currently on our 30 location USA road trip. The most haunted locations we can find yep. and get access to. Yep. We already did six locations in California, and now we're working our way through Central all the way up to the East Coast of the United States, and then back again. <laughs> oh my God! We're dude. covering everything. The location everything. tonight, brand new. Yep, brand new. Not even Ghost Adventures has been here yet. It's only been doing paranormal investigations for around the last eight to nine months. So sick. This, wow. is, this is a fun one. This is gonna be. Oh, they're insane. gonna be excited to have us. I think so. 150,000 square feet, four different buildings connected through like nursing areas, connected through tunnels. All the different variety of treatments that have happened here has a really dark history as well. Yeah. And it only closed in 2011. So this will be a really fun investigation. Of course, we have every tool for every kind of situation so we can really kind of be methodical about tonight mm -hmm. and of course the uh the elephant in the room we're gonna talk about that the the evil in the uh in the forest mm -hmm. it's right here if you missed our last video well I'm sure you have a lot of questions right now <laughs> if you know what a russian nesting doll is it's but, nothing like that but demons it's nothing like but that. demons and it's locked but tonight not only are we going to open it, but I think it's only fair that we show what every single item in this looks like. Tonight? We should show them all. Huh. Unwrap every single item. Uh -huh. We haven't even seen No. We, we've seen one. Yeah. We've seen one item. Yeah. Okay. So 13 of the most haunted items I could ever track down are in this oh, case. God. And tonight we're going to feast our eyes upon them. But okay. first, I think we should feast our eyes upon our contest winners oh. from last year. <laughs> Jules and Ethan, wow. would you please come in? Please, please Let's enter, go. please enter Let's go. the arena. Okay, so we, for those that don't know, we were running a contest uh, where you could use the code overnight whenever you made a purchase and yep. you would be entered to win. And you won, you won our contest for from last year, but because we never did any USA locations until now. So thanks for, thanks for joining us. Thank you for the sign Ouija board. Oh yeah! <laughs> That's what I wanted. Obviously. Oh, you want it with the sign Ouija yeah. board? No way! I have not used it. Wait, that. that's what I was gonna ask. You haven't used it? I haven't. Did I you... actually got it as really cool, like Halloween decoration Ex for a party. Uh. <laughs> but so I haven't used it. Everyone was too chicken to do it. Did I you like bring that. it? Good for I, like I did that. not. I was thinking you about know what's it. What's funny is you. you of course I brought one. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna so if you want, we can sign it with our blood tonight. What? A red oh, pen yeah. will do. No, I, 
We don't have to see okay. that with our blood. There's Sharpies. We have Sharpies. <laughs> have you done investigations before? Not full out. I've just done like abandoned exploring. Okay. No investigating. Ethan? Yeah, I'm always with her just doing uh, abandoned places um, around our hometown. Are you, are, you, are you scared at all? Um, I'm more excited and anxious for something to actually happen to me. Mm. I've been a skeptic a long time, so I don't know. If something happens, I'm going to be very excited, but we'll see. Uh, this place is huge, dog. Yeah. It's I, massive. I, I don't even know where to start, honestly. Yeah. Well, we're going to do a tour first so we can try to understand where we are, what this place is, where we should be going, what, mm. should we be, what we should be looking out for, yeah. and what those that are watching could also be looking out for to help us. Yeah. But from then on out, I don't know. We're here till noon tomorrow. <laughs> we're, noon. We're, we're sleeping here. Not even till sunrise. Until noon. Yeah. But then they go also, leave. Yeah. We could leave whenever we want. No, we can't. They locked the gate. We are in here. Which, if you think about it, it's kind of cool. Because there's been times where, you know, we only have it till a certain time. Yeah. yeah. And it's like just starting to kick exactly. up. And it's like, oh, we have to leave. So what if it's mm -hmm. 6 a.m. and we start getting the craziest activity and we're like, okay, let's go till 8. Let's go till the morning. People. Yeah. 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 Do you believe? No. So we have to prove them wrong tonight. We, we, got, we don't have to prove them wrong. This, yeah. They, they will yeah. prove them wrong. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, you mind taking one? Of course. Sure. Okay. And then I would give you this, but then Elton would ask me to help him carry that. Yeah. So I'm just going. I'll put this in the creepy forest for right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be uh, of course. Dude, that would suck if we come back to open. <laughs> the guy we are meeting, I actually specifically asked for. You normally, normally the owner does the tours, but I listened to a podcast. She was on it and had just some really cool stories. Okay. Kennedy. What's up, guys? Nice to meet you. It is. It's nice to meet you guys. Elton. Kennedy. Pleasure. And Corey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Kennedy. Matt. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Aaron. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Sweet. Let's do it. This is, this is massive. 150,000 square feet. Oh Alright. We will we'll follow <laughs> your lead. Alright. Indiana State Sanatorium. Although over 100 years old, this location is fairly new to paranormal investigations, as it was only made available in 2020, making it one of our favorite places to ever visit and search for the spirits that still reside here. With over a dozen massive buildings stretching across this massive plot of land, well beyond 100,000 square feet of history, rooms are still full of paperwork, medical equipment, clothing, paintings, surgical tools, furniture, and an infinite amount more to discover. This Rockville, Indiana location has an unknown amount of paranormal encounters awaiting us. Some of the major sections include the commercial building, superintendent's mansion, the doctor's bungalows, water treatment facility, the tunnel system, administration building, power plants, nursing homes, Adams Hall, cafeteria, the hospitals, operation rooms, and yet far more. A total of 20 buildings on site, seven houses, three different hospitals, and a 14,000 square foot barn, all of which originally sat on a 500 acre plot of land meant to act as a self-sustaining town, quarantined away from the rest of the world. The facility was created to be a place of hope and treatment that could cure tuberculosis. However, death, murder, and suicide quickly overshadowed any slight notion of positivity or hope. Mistreatment became extremely prevalent throughout the entire facility, which has led to an intensive amount of paranormal activity spanning from disembodied voices to poltergeist activity. Shadow figures have been clearly captured, and even the more provocative entities have shown themselves in photographs. It seems as though the spirits here are not hiding from visitors, yet just waiting and wanting to be found. Whether with the intention to tell their story, or something far more malicious is for us to find out. From the years 1909 to 1968, this location was known as the Indiana Tuberculosis Hospital, and as of 1978, it became a state-run facility until 2012, when it finally closed, leaving it entirely untouched for eight years. Everything left to slowly decay, hidden away, 
within the trees. 1907 marked the official beginning of the Indiana Sanatorium Project, with an approved funding of $250,000 to construct it. With a farm and workers on site, the compound became entirely self-sufficient and isolated from all the areas surrounding it. Over time, more buildings were added, with a school being built in 1918, the superintendent's residence in 1922, and doctor's homes shortly after. With quarantine a mandatory measure needed to prevent the spread of disease, no one was allowed to leave. The amount of patients exponentially increased, and at one point had a waiting list of 400 to be accepted into the facility. This was due to its incredibly high rate of recovery by the introduction of antibiotics in the early 1950s. And in reaction, more buildings were constructed, a chapel and five-story psychiatric building known as Adams Hall. By 1968, the sanatorium was shut down due to the discovery of the cure for tuberculosis. Two years later, it was repurposed as an assisted living facility as well as a mental health institution. This mix of patients caused a magnitude of problems, and the public opinion drastically spiraled downward as more stories of horror were uncovered, ranging from accidents, mistreatments, and even cruelty towards patients. Frequent reports of the apparition of a woman near the office areas and voices of all ages and genders are heard throughout every inch of each building. The stories of malpractice within the hospital were never fully investigated, until 2006, when a patient went missing, only to be found dead in the nearby woods. Then, in 2009, a murder-suicide occurred between two maintenance workers, with no clear motive as to why. By 2011, the sanatorium lost its license after an investigation showed that no prior issues were ever addressed or even attempted to be improved upon. The true extent of the paranormal activity here is nearly unknown. However, the stories and personal items that still remain here make it a hot spot full of a century's worth of spirits and stories alike to be discovered. Tonight, we will be beginning our paranormal investigation here. Plans to return on August 31st during our overnight paranormal tour, so we may continue seeking answers and evidence, but this time, alongside more of you. We hope to see you there, and thank you sincerely for supporting this channel. In here is the original tuberculosis sanatorium board. Whoa. In recent days, it has become the creepier of some of the rooms in the entire facility. Um, you'll hear <laughs> knocking, scratching. We've even gotten you to give somebody screaming. What? Um, and then another tour guide who I was just speaking with this afternoon decided to tell me that they have heard like the grudge. That heavy breathing, squealing, like, that kind of yep, exactly. Nothing in here has been brought in. It was all left here. We believe at some point, this right here would have been where they had all of their instruments, all the things to embalm somebody, and somewhere in the middle of the room would have been the embalming table. We do know that this was a board. That right there with the white handle was the original body cooler. As of right now, it's kind of being kept as a file storage unit until we can find somewhere to put them because there are just so many of them, we have nowhere to put them. Really? Yep. That is... <laughs> oh my god. Wow. <coughs> There's so many. Yeah, 1998, 2003. These suitcases right here did belong to patients. Wow. That's Every funny. Everything is original. Yeah. It's like they just up and left. They didn't take anything with them. The state gave them $20 a piece and just turned them loose. Anybody who was admitted here just turned them loose. All the sick patients just All the sick patients out. just gone. All right, this building, the cornerstone, would have been laid in 1909. It did not open until April Fool's Day in 1911. We actually just celebrated the 111th anniversary of the tuberculosis hospital opening. Wow. Um, everything over here behind you, it's all original. It was taken out of the rooms. Patient, patient gowns, bed clothes. Um, that gorilla right there, right behind the purple bucket, it tends to move on its own. <laughs> so have fun with that one. That one, the last time I was here, it was upstairs. Nobody brought it down here? I don't think so. What? And we've not had any reports saying, hey, you know, we moved the, we moved so-and-so. But it's, it's down here now. Um, a lot of times in this building, which we'll go up to the main floor here in just a second, we hear footsteps running. We've also heard a doppelganger of my boss. It is like the body double, a negative body double of you. 
I have never heard of that. Yeah. Never heard of Waverly, Waverly is kind of common I've for heard this. Of this. Waverly is very common for doppelgangers. They can be just the voice, it can be a sound of footsteps, it can be full body, it can be everything that I mentioned. Um, I was I was actually down here. Remember that? At the, dude. Remember when nope. he said he thought you were standing next to him? Oh yeah. Yeah, and yeah, at Pluckley Village. But then also last night we heard Evan say what? Oh yeah. And it wasn't Evan. Yeah. I've never I never knew that that was a thing in the paranormal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's actually kind of more common than you would think. Um, Waverly's big on it. Apparently, this place is too. I just learned about it today. Um, I thought I heard my boss coming down the main staircase up here on the phone. I thought he was just messing with us. I took off up these stairs and I was like, Kimmel. His name is Adam Kimmel. Um, I was like, what are you doing in here? It was my tour. It was like the last one. He normally doesn't do checks until after I'm done. And I radioed back down to base and I was like, Kimmel, are you in the, the admin? And he goes, no. He's like, I haven't been up there in like 45 minutes. And I swore I heard him come walking down the stairs talking on the phone. Wow. And there was nobody in here but me and my group. Why? I wonder how many times we've had something like that happen, we but just go. thought it was one of us and yeah. never even paid it any mind at all. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want me to head upstairs? Yeah. yeah. Let's go upstairs. Oh my goodness. This is pretty Wow. Cool. Goodness. What a cool place. You hear that? Anyone hear that? What you mean that? The humming? I just heard a mm. Yeah. Cool place. That is quite frequent. Believe it or Honey? Yep. <laughs> Especially up in the five story. <laughs> the homes? Yep. This is the first floor. Um, this is what every TB patient would have seen when they first came in. This would have been the grand staircase, the waiting room. Wow. Ultimately, this floor right here would have decided their fate. You're either going to walk out or you're not. Just let them go investigate. If they start <laughs> barking, yeah. If they start like, if they start barking or growling, there's something wrong. Because there's nobody else in here. <laughs> what is that? Uh, you hear that sigh? Huh? Do you hear that sigh? Was that not you? No. I thought you just did that to the dogs. I thought that was you. I thought you went, oh, it's like no. dogs went up there. Wait, what? I it was like a... It was like right between us, and I thought it was him. I thought it was you. No. <laughs> so I didn't pay any attention. What? The dog, okay. What? The dog, okay. I was just getting ready to say that shadow figures up in the corners on both sides of the staircase, they're actually kind of common. They don't really walk down the stairs, they just kind of lurk in the corner. It's one thing that we've noticed quite frequently, especially on one floor up, which you guys do have access to, um, up in the corner by the staircase. Okay. This is really, so that was the main entrance right there? Yep. That was like street level? Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Yep. Up here would have been all of the offices, upstairs right here on the, the third floor, <laughs> would have been all for females. So any okay. female who worked here, Nurses, things like that, they would have lived up on the second floor, second, third floor. And then up on the very top, which is like kind of referred to as the fourth floor, would have been men. Okay. Everybody was kind of separated until one point when it turned into Leon Bryant. Are we sure that's the dog? I know, there's a lot it of It sounds like someone's playing with them. No, dude, that was Yeah, wild. I, like, I heard like things moving. Yeah, lining up. Like, well. Well. That dog whines whenever there's people around. I know, it yeah. actually only was Dogs really don't much. whine for other dogs. Just like cats don't meow for other cats, they meow for humans. Should we go? Should we should check? they just come running down the stairs to us? <laughs> what would they be whining about? What would they be whining about? Go find out. Uh, yeah. Honestly, okay. uh, I kind of want to. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. Dude, because I'm hearing the whining over here, but then I'm hearing stuff all over there. Hey, buddy. Hey, what's wrong? Okay? What's wrong? Oh, oh dude, oh, they, they, were, they were so high Wait, up. they were all the way up. They were on the fourth floor. They just came running down the stairs. Because the, the whining stops. Yeah, 
I'm ready. All right, let's see. Yep. Okay, so what do you want? What else do you want? You want to do nails? You want to do feet? Yeah, uh, nails. Nails? Yeah. Okay. Come here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how old are you? Um, 18. Okay. You okay. seen anybody? Huh? You got a boy? You been to prom yet? You been to prom yet? There's a guy. There's a prom. Yeah. 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 A boy. She's oh. seeing a boy. Wow. Tell us all about. Wow. It. You really want me to? Yeah. You, sure? mm -hmm. you sure you can handle it? Uh, sure I, I can handle a lot. Okay. Well, it's your son. You Did gotta you? be shitting me, Timothy. You gotta be shitting me, Timothy. I've been dating Timothy. Oh my god. Well, he's hung like his father, Weaver. Yeah, so. hung like a fucking horse. Well, I know he's hung like his father. You gotta be shitting me again. <laughs> <laughs> Out here, that is the funniest thing that has ever happened on any of my tours. <laughs> <laughs> Don't encourage that behavior, you will have more. <laughs> okay. Are you guys cool with going lights out? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. We should no. do that right now. <laughs> this is what I mean by the term stupid dark. You cannot see your hand two inches in front of your face. Make sure you are fully aware of who is standing around you at all times when the lights are out. Sometimes a certain person could walk up out of nowhere. Wait, so Which that's... I think somebody just did over here. What? I'm gonna <laughs> <try>. <laughs> I was gonna cheat. <laughs> oh, this isn't even the scariest part. You guys ready to head down to the nursing home? Yeah. Yeah, can we turn the lights? Okay. Oh. <laughs> that's how we feel all the time. As soon as I looked up. Okay. Thank you, Evan. I, did not I was getting very scared, so thank you. The nursing home, I will say this now, is my least favorite spot. You could not pay me any amount of money to stay in here by myself. Least favorite part. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? There was something in that uh, room? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Now, there's something that I do with all of my tour groups, and if you guys are cool with it, haunted mirror selfie. Haunted mirror selfie. Haunted mirror selfie. Now, is the mirror haunted, or are we just calling it back? We now? have caught apparitions in here. I can actually show you guys a picture of one that um, one of my guests on my tour caught standing behind me. Let's take oh, our wow. picture first. Sounds good to me. Haunted mirror selfie. Okay. Yeah. All right, ready? One, two, three. Do you see anything? And then it'll take me just one second to. Yeah, develop it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Shaking her phone. <laughs> There's nothing in our pictures, <laughs> okay. unfortunately, but if you guys try that tonight and you do find it, go ahead and send it to me. Okay. Um, there's a Haunted Mirror Selfie Club on Instagram. What do people normally see? Like, what's the most common thing to see? Um, personally, for me, I've seen faces. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually looking for one of the photos that we've taken now. I was standing probably about where you are. I, had, I was facing the mirror. There were eight people in my group, but there were nine people in the photo. Ooh. The ninth person has glowing eyes. Oh. That's the part that tripped me out the most. All right, so it's a nice, normal photo of everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the flash. Have we got around oh, the is it right there? What? Oh, that's so fucking cool. Wait, what? what? I've it? never seen a picture. That's so cool. That's insane. That's, you can see the hair and everything. That's mm -hmm. so Hair, oh, mouth, cool. nose. No, he's jawline. smiling. He's literally yeah. smiling for the picture. Wow, I don't I think I've ever seen swipe it. Swipe no, no, no. And that's yeah. a girl in the back, right, for yep. sure? Okay. Yeah, all of these around here ghostly. are people. The only one that's not is our oh my God. extra guest that we gained. That is that's so cool. Every time you walk by this mirror, take some pictures. The mirror will probably scare you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I've walked by here a couple times and scared the crap out of myself. Yeah. Walking through here in total darkness, it's a whole lot different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this room right back here was a recreation room. They would play board games, puzzles. Do you remember these? All the velvet, uh, yeah. yeah. Those were everything when I was a kid. Felt the same. Games. Same. Those were the best things ever. Dude, I wonder how long this took. They have Jeopardy? Bingo? Let's yeah, go. they had everything. Let's go. Alright. Let's go. Who's gonna play me in Yahtzee? I'm not trying to brag, but I went on a Disney cruise a couple months ago, and I won $178 in Bingo. Okay. <laughs> and I only bet 300 so I only lost half. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, we use some debris. We're all going to have to go into our loan tonight. Okay, let's go. Okay. You handed these out, though. How about this? If you get one, you are safe. <laughs> oh, okay. If you get yeah. one, you are safe. The last one standing goes alone. Okay, right. deal. 
I got the second license. you get one called out, you're safe. The free space does not count. Yeah, the free space. Oh, one number sorry. Yeah, as soon as she calls out one thing that you have, you are safe. Okay. Oh my yeah. God. Please. <laughs> Alright, let's go N44. Bingo! Oh, Do you my really? God. Right he has it. Oh, yeah. yeah the uh, Aaron's safe. Okay. Shit. Oh, and Ethan. What? Oh, my God. Sure. Right, let's go I18. So oh, yes, yes. Yes. I'm oh, safe. Come on. Double bingo. I-18. I-18. I'm safe. Oh, I'm no. safe twice. Wait, is it just us three now? Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. My God. God. No, no, no. Come on, say a good one. Dude, come on. You got it. <laughs> say a good one. You got it. Uh, B4. Yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Thank you, God. Uh, yeah, uh, you're welcome. Uh, oh, thank uh, you. Uh, okay. All right. Um, Let's go O64. Bingo. Oh! oh, 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 oh that actually oh, worked! Oh, that actually worked! You know what though? I feel like this is karma. Why? Do you remember the Mr. Boots tunnel? Yeah. yeah. I had my flashlight on the whole time. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! I love okay. that that actually worked though. Okay. That's so funny. Yeah, that was that actually worked. Hey. Hey, so no, no, no. we came in this no, no, no. Room. So what's the one place that you hadn't been to? Is it because you're afraid of it? Is that why you haven't been no. there yet? We're just not allowed to go up there on tours. Oh. It's the fifth floor in the psych ward. Oh, can you oh go there's there? a psych ward here. Can yeah. you go up there? He can go up there, right? Yeah. Cool. Really? Can the dogs come with me? No. I should have just... Ooh, yo! Really yo what if... Yo! What if we did it again? What? Why? Yeah, just because Bingo's so much fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Like, what if who loses who next the then has to come with me? Absolutely. Right? We'll find a different game. We'll find a different game. Okay. We'll find a different game. Yeah. We'll play another round. Is okay. there any more games? <laughs> Monopoly. There's a few more game rooms, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Monopoly, we play for <laughs> tomorrow. We <laughs> play for three hours. Jeez. <laughs> That's the 3 a.m. challenge, it's just Monopoly. <laughs> we could. <laughs> oh, there is a game room around here where pieces, their game pieces are thrown. I like what? this place. Yes, let's go this place. Is this place near here? It's close. We're oh, getting there. Like <laughs> There's one hall right down here where we'll go lights out, if you guys are cool with that. Shadow play is big down here. I have personally deemed that hallway to our right, Shadow Man Hallway. We call him Steven. That is a name we've gotten through the spirit box several times. Go ahead and spread out along the wall. <laughs> hey Steven, I got a few new friends here with me tonight. I just wanted to see if maybe you'd come out of your room and talk to us for a minute. You don't have to be afraid of them. I won't let them hurt you. I'll sworn something fast in front. Go ahead, they won't hurt you. There goes again. Oh, something oh my god, it's like real quick, right? Yep. What yeah. the fuck? <laughs> what? Wait, are you seeing it go by very quickly? Yeah, it's yeah. real quick. Almost yeah. like a boom. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm seeing the same thing. I'm getting really bad vertigo right now. My eyes. Oh, there it goes. Oh, what the yep. fuck? Something just touched my arm, I swear. Oh my god. You hit me, I turned on the light. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Steven. In front for a second. My eyes were so wide. <laughs> <laughs> In the daylight, you guys might be able to see it tomorrow, there is a full view of the front of the five story. At one point, somebody jumped out of a window. Of uh, that one? Of the five story. Wow. So you're saying Ed and Steven almost hang out in the exact yep. same area? Yep, one room down from each other. Wow. Uh, I've not physically seen Ed, but we have seen Steven. How did you get the name Steven? Uh, Ed, sorry? Came through the spirit box. Oh, oh. And then when we looked on the wall, after we left, wow. we were out. It says Ed. This is kind of the central area, so we'll stop here. Oh, wow. Wait. Yes, it spans all four directions. Don't just focus on that one because I told you to. You will see stuff in every single wing. If there's a window, somebody will probably walk in front of it. I first knew about Steven when I was standing down in the middle of that hallway with a, funny enough, a paranormal investigator named Steve. Oh. Him and I were standing side by side, but we were looking down this hallway. He grabbed a hold of me, and I grabbed a hold of him quicker than you could say help. <laughs> it scared the crap out of both of us. I'd never seen anything like that before. That was the first experience that kind of changed my mind. Maybe the paranormal does exist. So, oh, in, so that means prior to you coming here, you were a skeptic? I was a skeptical believer, yes. Got it. And now you are? I'm a full-blown believer. And what duration of time here? Less than six months. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah. 
Anything that you've noticed that tends to make it more wild? Um, than playing others? like heart monitors, especially here. The sound of a heart monitor. Oh. We've done that before. That's a heart. That's just a heart. That's just. A heart. Are you guys are monitoring it, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> here they also like to play hide and clap. Oh my God! I pitched the idea earlier. Did you hear me say that earlier? Or no. I, did not. I literally walked in here. We haven't done that in over over a year. Uh, over a year, mm -hmm. at least. And I was like, for some reason, this place makes me want to do it for the first time in forever. I can clap. They clap. And you literally looked at me and you were like, I'm not gonna do it. The state pulled the funding because they found out that they were doing experiments on patients. We don't know what kind of experiments yet. We know that they were doing them. We just don't know what kind. What year was this? 2011. Oh. The people who lived here were not treated very well. There are photographs somewhere around here of actual physical abuse being documented on Polaroid from the 60s. Oh my God. We have that. We have, we've got a lawsuit from, I believe it was the 60s, sexual misconduct between an employee and a patient here. So that's why there's the posters everywhere yeah. that says for the patients, if you see something going on to report yep. it. Oh, that's wow. what those are for. There was a lot of that here. I assume those are for like the tour if you saw a trespasser. I did not even think no. that. All wow. of this was not put up by us. It was here when we got here. We estimate 5,000 deaths here. Wow. We don't know for sure. So hundreds of patients. Hundreds of patients and thousands of deaths. Okay. And absolutely no record on where they went. So much here. Yeah. It's, it's a lot. There are people who took their own lives. There's people who killed other patients. There was murders here? Not from the doctors? Not from the doctors. It was employee on employee at one point. What? The most recent was in 2009. Um, it was an employee who decided he wanted to come in, shoot another coworker over some unbeknownst reason, and then turn the gun on himself back in the power plant where you guys are parked. Oh, okay. Well, I would park there. <laughs> wow. And other patients just, the staff didn't care, so just let them have at it, have at it? Yeah, they didn't know, somehow, I don't know how they didn't. And this is the same place that you won't stay alone in? Yep. Got it. You wouldn't stand right here for like $200 no. for 10 minutes? No. I wouldn't stand here for a million dollars for five minutes. Wow. Absolutely not. I'll do it. Wow. I'll do it. Um, you wouldn't stand here for five minutes for a million dollars? Five minutes, pitch black. We're all right outside the building waiting for you whenever you're ready. Hell no. Does something like really bad happen right here to you? It's, it freaks me out. It's just the feeling? It's the feeling that I get when I'm in here alone. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's daytime, nighttime. If somebody's with me, it's always heavy. I don't like it. There's something wrong with this spot. And we have a table. I bet this is where you're going to be by yourself. And if you want, you can even time to chair. Why would you even say that? You know, what's I wrong there with you? Kennedy? I like to burn you. Where did this, this, this come from? The podcast and all My the ideas are a little back. twisted. Okay, oh got a lot of God. stories. What chair, what rope? Where are we doing this? Let's go. Oh, oh my God. Chair right here. There's a chair right there. Okay, chair. Okay. And what are we using to tie it down? What about a bed no sheet? Way. You got caution tape right there? There's caution tape. We'll break through that. You can use a hospital gown. What? I, lo I like. Wait, I really, so you're going to do so well here. You're going to have a long career. Okay. It's going to be great. The ghosts are going to like you. We like you. Thank you. I appreciate that. It went from you can't catch me dead standing here for a million dollars uh -huh. to we're going to tie you to a chair. <laughs> it's not me. That's, that's the thing. Actually, it's not me. do you want to do it? Do you want to tie Because if I do it, then sure. everyone's going to be like, Elvin will be his friends. But if you do sure. it, it's like. I'll do it. Yeah. You. Okay, so Monopoly, where's that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we still have a Monopoly board. It might have been thrown away. You guys ever played Duck Duck Goose? <laughs> no, they but I played Duck Tape. Oh. Duck Tape Corey. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Who did Super Zone and Duck Tape? Yeah. <laughs> so if, is, there, is there anything that I can do to have someone else get duct tape to the chair with me? You would know? you guys like to see him get duct tape to a chair? Yeah. yeah. Or would you like to experience it with me a once in a lifetime? <laughs> <laughs> we can do this together. Hey, Why don't give we me do a Mario McFlurry. We, got we could do it back to back. Did you hear that? <laughs> what? I didn't hear it. She's acting like Uber East doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> she said, get, get me, out, get me a Mario no McFlurry. way they're coming out here. We can't even get Casey's in town to deliver out here. Not even Casey's, you hear that? And it's only like two and a half miles from you here. You thought you outsmarted everyone here? <laughs> I did this so much fun. Sorry. <laughs> I 
apologize in advance. Everybody else is gonna love me. So nobody wants to play like rock, paper, scissors a bunch and then do it with me. I'll do it. You? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Did you? Yeah, I'll do it. I wanna see if anything happens for myself, so. Can we do a trio thing? Can we do like a little three? Well, it went from by yourself <laughs> to the three of you. Dude, this is this is amazing. You know what? If the three of them are gonna do it, I'll jump into it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah, there's four of you out there. Oh, but see, that was good. Yeah. Oh, but here's the thing. If, if you were gonna do it and you're gonna do it, I think we should all do it in a different part of the building and then she would stay here. Ah. Uh, would you do that? Right? Deal? Would that's a deal, right? Why not? So you're here, and then we're all paired off in different parts. See, this is all groundbreaking. This is this is incredible. That was a lot cheaper than a million dollars. Makes everything in rhymes. How many other are you? Hang on. Uh, eight. Eight. Yeah. Including. So all eight of us are leaving, and then How you're staying long? here. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Five minutes. Okay. Six and two thirds minutes. Wait, what's happening? Six point six six. Six minutes, 40 seconds. Y'all going up? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do five minutes. That's my limit. Okay, that? right, the end of the night. Okay. Before, Before we say goodbye after the tour. No, okay. No one heard that? What? It was just like a really loud, like, I don't know, it was just a super loud moan, like a high-pitched moan. It was like a cheer. No, it like, wasn't hey, a cheer. Right no, it... Yeah, you should be alone. Yeah. What did I sign Okay. <laughs> You can cuddle a baby doll right there. Oh, I'm terrified of dolls. No, thank you. Okay. Oh, cool. Full deck. Oh, you're going to be showing what you're doing. Oh, my God. Just staring at her around her face. She uses the baby doll as her face. Yeah, you had fucked up ideas. We can get way worse. I figured as much, yeah. You guys have any questions so far? No. I'm sure they already have, but... Well, this is still, are we still technically the first building? Yeah. This is technically your second building. The only thing that I recommend about Five Story, do not piss them off. We just recently come across somebody who's a whole lot more aggressive than everybody else. He is very intimidating. He will follow you around in here. You heard something again. deep. You heard it? On the roof again. Yeah, yeah, it was above us. That's creepy. And the dogs can't get on the roof. I hope not. I wouldn't be surprised though. Like, I'm six foot tall and I can't get off the roof. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm six foot one. Yeah. Oh, all right, I'm five, I'm five eight. Now it's Nice. He wins. <laughs> Told you. Dude, if you were that tall, I would be so scared. If you were that tall, I'd be terrified of you. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, all right, but Mr. Bill was that tall. Take me to the demon. Other way. <laughs> Take me. Careful, head. Oh, am I going to get some? <laughs> Take me away. Am I going to get some? Take me away. Take me. Oh, no, we're not done. Look at the walls. They're, They're watching. watching. What are they watching? Shut up. You. <laughs> me. So, this right here would have been the Lee Allen Bryant dining room. If you would have gotten your food back over here, you can kind of see the line back there. Oh, yeah. Out here in the main hallway, there's also a nurse's station where you would stop to get your medicine every day. Three times a day, the slats in the wall right there, you can actually see through those. That is so the nurses didn't have to walk too far out of the nurse's station to keep an eye on everybody that was in here. Wow. You were under supervision all day, every day. As for paranormal occurrences in here, we hear talking, laughing, singing. Humming is a big one in this in this building. Um, we've heard door slam. We've heard footsteps running above us. That's me. This is also the same building where three floors above us, Destination Fear caught the thermal figure. Oh. <laughs> I heard y'all like the laugh. Oh my god. <laughs> I heard y'all like to hear some jokes. Y'all want to hear a joke? <laughs> 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 See, if you were six foot no, seven, she's a clown. Oh my god. See, yeah, that, that is horrifying. I don't like it's this. Terrible. Take it off. Damn, yeah, sorry. I need to wash my hair right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have lice. But it's cool because it's from a haunted place. Yeah, it's cool. cool. Do you think that was brought in here or you think that was part of it? No, that was left here. No. I saw that the first time I was in here. Really? Could Dude, you you're wearing something somebody wore that was probably insane. I don't think 
I cannot take you seriously. Yeah, you might want to take. Yeah. Wait, it's terrifying. Try taking that off. Try taking the wig off. I want to. Do it. Take it off. No, I like it. Take it off. It's warm in here. Take it off. Make me. Keep it on. Keep it on as long as you like. Put your hoodie on. Put your hoodie on half of it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it looks real. Oh my god. No, no, no. I ain't gonna lie. You look like Trippy Red. Dude, <laughs> you can be the dopest sound child rapper. 6'9. Wow. Is the jacket, too? <laughs> Alright. That's cool. Okay, yes. Nice. Did you hear like a. Ah, ah. I heard that on her footsteps. It's because we're having so much energy right now. Yeah. If you keep that, they will come out. Is keep that, that energy? Yeah. Okay. Keep the good, funny, light-hearted energy. They didn't have a whole lot of that here. Mm. Mm. It was all rules, and you gotta do this, and you gotta do that by a certain time. They we didn't do a show. I think we'll do a show for the patients later. Let's see, because then we can find out. That would be like Blair House, we were telling jokes. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we can make some patients laugh later. Comedy special. Um, through that doorway back there is another smaller recreation room. It's kind of, it's more like game board pieces. That's where Addie had one thrown at her. It came, I believe it was a chess piece. It came flying across the room. But she said that it, it didn't feel malicious. It was like a, hey, I'm here, pay attention to me. That's kind of a lot of, like what a lot of these are. You know, they were thrown away by their families. They didn't have family. All they want is to be remembered. They were forgotten for so long that they don't know anything else. That's kind of why I cherish this place so much. You know, I don't want them to feel like they're forgotten. I want them to know that they matter and they do have a story. That's why I do what I do here. Do they like playing games in here still? They do. And for whatever reason, it seems that the corner that you're standing in is heavier than everywhere else in the room. We've caught giggling in here. Um, one of my tour guests was actually scratched in here on the back of her neck, but it was five finger marks. Like somebody was like trying to grab her to get her attention. It was right here on the back of her neck. Oh my God. But I watched all five of them develop as she was standing in front of me. What'd you say? I just had a hand go down my back. Right now? Right now. <laughs> oh. For what? I see her sweatshirt moving on its own. Shut up. It's pressing, it was pressing right into her back. I have never seen anything like that. Whoa. Dude. It's an ending, yeah. I feel Don't it. touch this. Somebody's touching There's me again. There's an ending right now. Across the middle of my back. Yeah, you're not, yeah, I can see the ending. I'm so freaked out. Out of all the rest of your hoodie, too. Yeah. It's just the ending. Somebody touches. I just get a butterfly since you're not going to go to the butterfly. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> oh my god. I've never had this happen before. Does it feel like a adult hand or does it feel kind of small? It's, it's very large. Sure. It's almost like a like hand up to the wrist. And it's it's still doing it. Fuck, we don't have any tools. Okay. Aaron. Yeah. Come here. Okay. Oh, See, that's the fun part though. Crap. That, that's the fun part about not having tools it's, right now. Like, just the pressure. Still like as soon as I touch it, it, it's crazy like chills on butterflies. I've never had that happen go. before. It's not there. Oh, like it's literally like the energy uh, in this ooh, basketball touching it. Shit. Shit. Like, touch it. Yeah, as soon as you touch it, you're going to have to. I don't know how I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So I definitely oh, feel like. Oh, oh, so I definitely oh, feel oh, like oh. we have to investigate this room later. It is one of our most active spots. Right over your head. You're about to hit the. Are you bringing it? No, it's their toy, Crumpy. Crumpy! <gasps> oh! Crumpy! <laughs> you wanna see a trick, boy? Yeah! <gasps> oh! Okay! Oh! Good job! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's your fa- What's your favorite food, Crumpy? Oh, oh, Crumpy! <laughs>
What was that? I have no idea. <laughs> what did y'all see? We heard something. It's, it, it sounded like... Think about it. it yeah, it was, it was like so much. You all heard like scooting? Yeah, like somebody like shuffling but like they were running. From where? In here? Yeah. In there, behind yeah. that wall. Ain't somewhere. nothing in there. That's the bathroom. It ends right here. Bro. <laughs> You notice how insane this is that you just like click this video and jump to a random point in time and this is what you see? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Let me just skim through it. <laughs> Overnight in haunted insane asylum. <laughs> 32 minutes in. What the fuck? You can, getting getting no, you can use that as a thumbnail. Just you standing in a cloud waiting here. So I definitely feel like we have to investigate this room later. Fucking hell. Oh, damn it. 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 Damn Oh my god. Yo! Dude, must saw something like that. I'm like, I have to fight it. I'm out. If I see anything like that. Oh my god. Ooh! Ooh! Oh! He's doing it! Oh my god. He's doing it! You're crumpled! Oh my god. 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 Oh so cute. I know. Uh, okay. Uh. Upstairs in the fifth floor, um, in room 510, we also have like a two and a half minute EVP of a guy screaming, saying, let me out. I want out. The fifth floor is most intense, especially for women. That would have been, you know, your rapists, your things like that. Anybody who committed a crime like that would have been put up on the fifth floor. Who was so, that? Who just did that? Who just did that? No, no, no. Who just pulled my jacket? Someone just pulled. I've never had There's something like down. that strong, bro. Just running. Somebody running. Bro, it was, it was like just one footstep, like right above. It my was head. like my jacket got stuck to a nail, and it goes. Dog, it happened as I passed right here. There was no, literally, the doorway. As I'm right here, my jacket gets pulled backwards. That was insane. That's new. We haven't had that happen. Before. Right here. Did you just grab my jacket? Yeah, this is the very top of the building. The thing right above you is. Oof. Um, five ten seems to be seems to be the most active. Um, growling footsteps, talking, moaning, pretty much anything you can think of. This is 510? This is 510. Five, 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 it's down there. Down there. We set the recorder right there on the floor. The guys left the room for about 10 minutes. Came back, picked it up. There was a lot on there. When one of them said that they were walking away, he goes, bye. Like, okay, leave, I don't care. This, in this building, up here, we've got a lot up here. Second floor and the fourth floor. Um, haven't really got a whole lot on the first or the third. Um, the third is kind of like a safe haven. So if it gets to be, yeah. So if it gets to be too much for you guys, go down and just recollect yourself on the third floor. I've had crazy stuff happen in all four wings, so I wouldn't rule it out as just one side or the other. Um, if you guys stand four of you back to back and face all all four sides, you're all probably going to see something. Outside, Addie and I were setting up one night for our final tour. It was like 11.45, the last one rolled out at midnight. We were sitting out behind the garage at the superintendent's mansion. Pitch black outside. We only had the lights up around the tent so people knew where to check in. Addie and I hadn't talked in probably about 15, 20 minutes. She was back smoking a cigarette. I was sitting in the lawn chair just relaxing before I took out my final tour. 
I look up and there's a gentleman walking up the road on this side, closest to Superintendent's Mansion. All of the cars are parked along the side of the street, so he goes behind each one of the cars. I don't really think much about it. And then one of our cars from our previous tour is backing out. It's a white Durango. They start pulling out and down the, the gravel way there. He doesn't move. The car doesn't stop. The car goes right through him. Addie and I saw it at the same time, the exact same thing. We both look at each other like, what the hell is happening? So the person driving didn't even see it? Didn't seem to. If they did, they didn't pay no mind to it. It was no different than me looking at one of you. That's how solid he was. He was in a white coat. Didn't really see the pants because mm. he was walking behind the walking behind the cars. We think it was a doctor. Yeah. All right. Go back. Thank you. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You. Appreciate it. We're not done yet, by the way. I figure not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay all night if I have to. I got to work in the morning, but a lot of <laughs> Do you sleep here in the, the building? I sleep in the commercial building, yeah. Okay. On occasion. Is that creepy at all? That's where we're. Uh, That's where the children's work used to be. Shut up. So people hear a little boy giggling. Oh, Wait, where we're sleeping tonight? Yep. Oh. It's not too oh, terribly cold. This is there. the building where we're sleeping in? No, 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 no we're, we're in later. the building. Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, if you, if you have a set like that, by all means, go for it. <laughs> oh, in this building? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's more because it's cold, not from that trash. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay. Just now? Yeah, yeah I, I did not open that door. That was shut. Because that's yeah, remember, that's remember we were playing we were. the balance game. Yeah, remember but that door was closed. Yeah, that door was closed. But it was open right now. Evan just walked through it and did not touch the door. He walked straight through it. Dude. That's cool. Oh, oh that say that. Could you say that one more time? This is the opposite end of Shadowman Hallway. So where we all kind of cut and we went dark. This is what the other side looks like from the upside. Yeah. All right. So we are going to, of course, do an investigation. We've kind of already decided that you want to go up to the fifth the fifth floor, floor because you are a non-believer, right? That is correct. And you, what was the reason you wanted to go to the fifth floor? I'm a chick. They like to touch chicks, apparently. I want to be a trigger object. Mm, okay. You crazy. So yeah. I already volunteered to go with you because I was given permission by the owner to provoke. And you alone being up there is kind of provocative in a sense, right? They don't want you up there. And so we'll go up to the fifth floor. And then Aaron, you're going to join me tonight, okay. right? Okay. And Sounds then good. the three of you will go where you'd like. Probably use the third floor to start. Okay. We have all the tools. We'll try and make sure to use them in moderation. I mean, if you're new to the channel, like there, every single kit is filled with every kind of device you could ever imagine: thermal imaging goggles, REM pods, motion sensors, cat balls, obulus. Every single kit has different items serving different purposes. So every kind of evidence we could want to capture we can do in here. So we kind of know what we're getting ourselves into yeah. and if something's not working, but we've already had some really cool activity. I mean, we haven't even investigated yet. <laughs> we've already gotten more evidence than we have at some other places yeah. without investigating. I know. And that's the truth. It's funny because we were talking about possibly bringing the tools, some of the tools on the tour, mm -hmm. but it kind of proves the point that like even without tools, stuff that can happen, we're just listening, so. Yeah. And you are both complete non-believers, right? Okay, so you won't care to see what's in this box at all? I, I want to see it. You, want to, you don't want to see it? <laughs> <laughs> We're trading, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I want the same thing, so it'll be Oh good. my yeah, god! Yeah. This is all going to be the first time for all of you seeing what's in this box. Yeah. But we're going to unveil every single item. I'm also going to say this right yeah. now. All the stories for each one, I've already taken out of them, but I know what they belong to. Because I don't want anyone to read any of the backstories for each box. What's that? Until it becomes time to open them. Because then you'll start deciding which box you want to open based on what stories. So now you don't know. Okay. So I will open it's it. Not, yeah. <laughs> you guys mind taking this off the table? Because there's a lot of these. Yeah. Can you Gosh. guess what the combination is, by the way? It's three numbers. Yeah, guess, six, guess six, what six. it is. Yep, yeah. that's it. Yeah. You know me so well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you don't have to do it, Elton. Again, it doesn't, again, it's doing the same thing. It doesn't want me to go to the uh, last six. Maybe that's a sign. It literally is doing it again. Remember the last time you started praying and then it did it? 
Oh yeah. Ready? Thank, thank you, God. Thank you, God. And once again, I love you, God. Are you serious? Oh my God. Okay. I'm gonna step over here. Ooh. Oh, my salt is already falling down. Well, this is the one, and the note. Last night. So we already know. Actually, did you even see this one last night? No. no. Oh, you didn't? No. So yes. one by one by one. Which one do you like the, the least? Hmm? Two. Box number one. Do you want to open one? Do you want to unwrap it? Sure, here. You can unwrap it. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Unwrap it. You you get get the no! <laughs> you get the honors. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it must open. It opens Oh now. my god. Do not drop it. <laughs> she just touches it. Okay, number two. Ethan, would you like to unwrap one? Sure. Okay. Can you do like a game show though, please? Like a uh, deal or no deal? Hold on, I got an offer. One second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're gonna offer you your soul? <laughs> in return for... In return for wow. not opening it. Uh, in return. Well, no deal. Oh? That one's cool. What? Is that covered? It's covered that's in wax. Well, is that like, like more string? Corey? Yeah. Oh, I can't? You that's sure? Yeah, I'm allergic. Your mom said you can't have Debbie boxes after 9 p.m.? Just talk to her. Yeah. Yeah. Matt? I won't tell. God will know. <laughs> look at the dog. Look out. Look out. Oh, I was so happy in anticipation. <laughs> Ooh, that one's. Ooh. Ew. What? What is on that one? Is that a tooth? Is that a tooth? What's that? I think that's a tooth. What kind of tooth? I don't know. Fat ass molar. Like Fat ass molar. <laughs> <laughs> There's another one for you. Oh. 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 Why would you do that? Are you opening one tonight? Two? Why? Can we run away? It was one for each night of the trip, and we didn't do one last night, so I have two. For good reason. Can we run away, though, before you open them? Yeah, I don't want to be in sight. What's in that one? Oh, oh my god, what is that? I saw a movie with Jim Carrey about that. <laughs> I forgot about that one. First one I... mm. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Do that oh my god. You know we're still not even halfway. What? How many more? Seven. We notice all the dogs ran away since so we brought them out. Yeah. No dogs. Like, I don't even see them. Dogs? Dog? Oh. oh. Alright, you ready? What is that? Oh. That's a treasure chest. Oh? Is that a doll? Yeah. Is that a voodoo doll? That's like a voodoo doll. Ooh. What did you buy? These are the final three. Wait, wait. Is this a... What's a ghost's favorite type of liquor? Red rum, continue. What? It's one of hair. I will, oh. I will stay away from that Dude. one. I'm not a barber. Can't touch it. Is that a chest? Yeah. And a Ouija board. Wait, is that a pentagram on the lock? <laughs> As a donation mm. to this establishment, we leave them all here and never open any of them. I don't think they want them here. Well, what if we come back and these are moved around? Because they do like to move things. That'd be so cool. Move no, what if we come back and they're all open? Dude. <laughs> that would be so that. <laughs> oh See, that's what I think. I'm like, let me buy these and then watch what happens. This is the only other request, yeah? The only other request? You want the Ouija board? Chew it up. We don't want Chew to play the Ouija board on the digit, on the digit box. Oh, oh no, they don't. Why? Know. Ethan, there are <laughs> rules to this. <laughs> you can't just throw out ideas that are insane because he'll do them. I mean, we gotta punch it. Well. Yeah, you guys take that upstairs. I like Ethan. I like Ethan. Is that your word? <sighs> yeah, it's uh... Lead, us, lead the way. Lead, lead the way. I think it was... Uppies. Yeah, it was up. That. Was it up one or was it that this one? one? Up. Right? I think it's this one. I think it's up. We sure. did go right, up, but did we come back down? Here. 
And that's the captain. See, this is why you're on our team. Yeah. <laughs> See? I knew it. I knew we should have you on our team. Okay. Ready? What's up, Fox? Yeah. Alright, which boxes should we take? 